What's up, gang? This is Charles for Premier Guitar. I'm here with Tony. We're hanging in the Black Star Cube. This yes. is Black Star yes. Cube. Yeah. Yes, the Sweat Lodge. The Sweat Lodge. <laughs> I'm feeling it. This is like, I don't know, you got to pay like 80 bucks a night for this in Sonoma. 8,000 8, bucks. Anyway, he has a platinum brick down here. That's right. It looks very metal. Why is it? Why does it look so metal? It's all metal all the time. None more metal than this pedal. Is it called the metal pedal? It is the metal pedal. Yeah, go figure. It's a pedal of metal. Cool. It's all metal all the time. What does it do? It gives us metal. Really? It unleashes the gates of hell twice because it's two channels. Well, there's six knobs on there and two switches. I mean, it must there must be some metal nuance involved in all it, that. There is. It, it's a the next logical leap off the edge of our already popular tube-driven pedal line. Mm -hmm. So it's based off the dual. So it gives you the three-band EQ, the patented ISF control, but you have dual gain controls and also dual master volumes. And you have your overdriven channel, your channel one and your channel two, which is unleashes the gates of hell. Right. Into the abyss. Do you want to show us what it sounds like to uh, plummet into the abyss Absolutely. with the metal pedal? Okay. Here's my dry signal, channel one. It says filth on there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, that sounded filthy. Yeah. Which kind of filth was that? That was more of your rhythm filth. Okay. You know, um, or your more retro 80s filth uh -huh. um, for that channel. And, and again, as distorted as it sounds and as heavy as it is, you still have a lot of clarity. You can play an open G chord and, uh, you know. Does it do filthier or just different yes. kinds of filth? Okay. It does levels of filth, but it doesn't get as filthy as channel two. Okay. Channel two is just the filthiest. Show us what that sounds like? Yes. There we go. A stinky, dirty, awful mess, but kind of killer too. It is cool in a good way. All right, anything more you want to show us from the metal pedal? No, that's what that pedal does. All it's, right, it's not only just a leap off the edge; it's a full-on body tackle, <laughs> you know, brutal attack, you know, throwing your ass over the edge. Action oh. films. What were you saying about this being gritty? This is a very gritty little guy here, you yes. said. It's the new addition to our club series, the HT series amplifiers. This is the Club 50, 50 watt head as we've been dubbing it the Gritty Fitty. Uh -huh. It's two channels. It's based off of basically our 20 watt head, the one that really sells well. It's a 50 watt version of that with a couple of little extra little things on it that, that the 20 doesn't have. You have mode switching on the clean channel so you can get two different types of clean and then also on the gain channel you can get more of a classic overdrive or more of a modern rock type of tone. And you can't beat an amp that has two EL34s in the back. I think somebody said that some of the most popular songs ever written was with that formula, and that's what we have here. Cool. Play it. All right. The clean channel with the voice knob in is going to give me more of that Texas kind of Stevie tone. So... Sweet. So it does have built-in digital reverb. Of course, if you don't want that, you can pull it back. You can take the mode switch out, and you can get something that's more of a Class A type sound, a little bit sharper, not as deep. So and it sounds like this. Double sweet. Or you can over turn everything all the way up because, again, we're Blackstar and, and we're guitar players, so you should be able to turn everything up all the time. Okay. Even with humbuckers, you can overdrive the clean channel and get this kind of classic rock kind of thumb. <laughs>
Looks like it's got an overdrive channel over there. It does. So if you need even more gain, we can go to the second channel. And now with the switch out, it's going to give you more of a classic overdrive. What I like about most of the Black Star line, especially this 50 watt and why it's so gritty, um, you can push the volume up, take the gain back, and you have a, a classic rock tone. So you can do that kind of classic rock thing right. with it all day. And of course, you could always add more gain. Gain is easy. So you turn it up without pushing the button, keeping it on more the classic. <laughs> Cool. If you need even more gain and you want to get something a little bit more modern, more aggressive, you push in the button here, turn up your gain knob there. Pretty gritty, man. Yeah, that's why it's the gritty fitty. You got anything else to tell us about the gritty fitty? Um, run right out and buy one today because they're they're gonna go fast. This is a great little amp for the type of gigs that most of us play. 50 watt amp just fills that that yeah. slot. You you can't go wrong with it. It's at a great price point too. Awesome amp. You heard Tony. Go buy one now. This is Charles for Premier Guitar .com. <laughs>